we have over 10,000 students that we graduate alone from the University of Tennessee. The problem that we're seeing is that many of those kids, we encourage them to stay in school, to do well. These kids work very, very hard in school, and they get their degrees, and they don't have any jobs. And what we keep hearing is that you're bringing in lots of skilled jobs, and that's great. But what's going to happen to those kids who have earned their way in school, have huge loans to repay? And they want to come back to the community. They want to give to the community. But they find themselves having to leave to go to Atlanta, Nashville, or other places simply because we have not, we have not put that as a priority or even put it as a part of the plan to bring in more professional businesses. So my question is, what are you going to do about that? Mr. Carter, you're first up. Well, Doctor, thank you for your question. But let me assure you from what I know, those efforts are being made every day. It is my desire that kids throughout the United States desire to come home to Chattanooga. If they grow up in L.A., then their goal is to graduate and be able to work in Chattanooga, Tennessee. There are a lot of exciting things happening out there, and those are underway now. We can't meet every need, but we can meet many of these needs, and those processes are underway now. Another thing, the, the, the beauty of our system is we have a very dedicated board of education. We have people who have been there a great number of years or are educators and have great experience. And then we have very young, enthusiastic people on there. So we've got a great board of education. One of the things that I want to do is partner with them. It's the easiest thing in the world to do for the mayor and the commission to tell the board of education how to do its job or the board of education to tell us how to do our job. Let's work together to create curriculum that will educate people and they will leave school with a trade in order to go and get a job, not a two-year degree that is ineffective in most workplaces throughout America. Thank you. Dr. Hill, thank you for your question. Five years ago when I went out on the campaign trail, totally green into politics. I was out talking to people when I was running for commissioner and I said, wouldn't it be great and wonderful? I made the comment back then several times as a stump speech saying, you know, we are positioned and poised with Enterprise South for great things to happen and create jobs. And wouldn't it be wonderful if your kids and grandkids could find good paying jobs right here in Hamilton County? We knew we were positioned and poised and some of that has come to reality. We need to keep working diligently and we will work diligently to uh, see that we can recruit other positions and other jobs. I think we all share in that same concern. Uh, my wife is a school teacher. I'm in the schools uh, constantly, as I talked about earlier, when we were talking about another issue. But I listen to what teachers are saying and what the administration says and what my school board rep, and we sit down and talk about this. The commission does work with the uh, school board. We don't tell the school board how to do their job. Uh, they do that, they ran, they are elected, they make those determinations. But we will continue to find creative ways to be able to attract more and more jobs, more diverse jobs, so that we're not just locked into the auto industry or we're not just locked into a distribution center, but that we're gonna have a, a variety of jobs so that all of our young people have the opportunity. I agree with you, Dr. Hill. It breaks my heart when, uh, when I hear a young person say, I've got to go to Atlanta or I've got to go to Nashville to find a job. I don't think we're going to see that down the road. I think in the next decade, there's going to be a good opportunity for a good many jobs right here in Hamilton County. Thank you very much.